Hey guys, we're back with another video. Today we're doing a one month update on my Milwaukee tool belt and my tool setup that I use for concrete every day. So we're gonna dive into this video and show you what changed, what hasn't, I'll give you my final review at the end. Okay guys, so as you can see, this belt looks a little bit different from when you saw it last. Last time you guys saw it, it was brand new and it you know, bright red and everything. Doing concrete stuff get dirty quick and as well as most construction, but I think a concrete especially, you get splatters and stuff everywhere and it's just a dirty job. So as you can see, the belt is pretty worn in. Um, I have to say though, know, for my one month review, the belt's holding up great, I love it. I love the suspenders and the belt. You know, you get the weight distributed evenly so that you're not too much weight on your shoulders, not too much on your waist to keep everything nice and sound so your body's not hurting. Um, as you guys can see, not much has changed in my tool update except for basically my hammer. So if you guys remember, I used, I had rock the 22 ounce Milwaukee hammer. Uh, if you guys have worked concrete, like setting forms and stuff like that, you know that after uh, hitting latches all day, it, a 22 ounce can get pretty heavy, especially me being kind of new in the industry. Uh, my wrists were hurting a lot after I was done, came home from work. So this actually happens to be another hand-me-down. My brother, he gave this to me, funny enough, he did concrete uh, like floors and stuff like that. This was his hammer he rocked uh, a couple years back. It's just a, a 15 ounce uh, black candle S ring. I don't know like a mall or anything like that. I don't even know if they actually still sell these or not. Um, but this is a 15 ounce hammer. As you can see, it's got the nail puller built in on the side of it. Uh, it's got a nail starter, doesn't have double headed nails that we use in concrete typically. Uh, it doesn't have that for the starter, so I can't really use a nail starter that much because we, like I said, we always basically use double headed nails in concrete. Um, it's got the, obviously it's got the claw on the back. This claw is wide enough. If you guys were concrete, you know the wall ties. If you got to get a corner out, you have to break the one side of the ties to get that corner out. And a lot of times it's kind of a pain to hit that tie. So what you'll do is you'll, if you work concrete, obviously you'll know you'll put your claw on that tie and you'll bend it over and you'll just snap it off. Uh, this claw does work for it. I do wish the claw was a bit deeper on this. It's not very deep, but after all, like it's still a great hammer. It's lighter. The last thing I don't, I don't like, I know I'm saying a lot of things I don't like. I still like it better than the, uh, the heavier hammer. The one thing I don't like is the overall length. Like the head, like it, like this part portion, like the swinging part is not big. And you know, for taking apart ledge and stuff like that, if you want to get a good hit on it, on the inside, you get the pilot off, your hands hit the two by fours. It's, it's kind of a pain, but eventually I want to upgrade to the Boss Pro Hammer. If you guys have seen that video, Hexagon Head is basically meant for doing concrete. Uh, I, I think it's, it's basically meant for the concrete worker. It's got a double head nail starter. It's got the square on it. It's got the hexagon head. Uh, it's got the saw blade, like the saw blade changer on the bottom of it. Great hammer. If anyone from Boss sees this video, please send me a Boss hammer. I am dying to get one. Uh, but yeah, that's basically all that's changed. So we'll move on. Uh, as you can see, the nail bar is not new anymore. Uh, if you're working concrete uh, foundations, any kind of foundation, I highly suggest you get a nail bar. Any type, preferably a thicker one because the aluminum ones, if you're doing really reefing on them, they can bend uh, or get dented and stuff like that. This uh, S-Wing one is very thick as you can see. Um, I use this, if you guys know, again, if you work concrete, if you're doing pushes on the wall to make that wall uh, uh, the, the right uh, to, what do you call it? plumb on the outside with your string if like that wall's got to be two inches from that string if you got to do a push you you nail sorry you hit the nail bar into the two by four and you push up against it until that wall is, is perfect you nail it in so having a nail bar doing concrete forming i think is a pretty good asset and something you should really have in your tool belt obviously um another thing with this is i find now that it's worn in this this nail bar if i'm walking around all day and jiggling you know it's moving like this it does tend to kind of slip in like that and i can actually pull it all the way through so now i've just been trying to put it in there and then kind of rest it on that little seam right there i don't know it doesn't really make a difference but you know anyway uh next up square this is actually not my original square i had to buy a new one unfortunately we were working on a site and i was moving sheets around and i dropped my square in the water that we were working in the water was basically up almost to the top of my rubber boot 
and I couldn't find it. So I had to go buy a new Milwaukee Square, but this is the same as the old one and they work great. Um, you don't have to get a Milwaukee. I, I'm a Milwaukee guy, so obviously I got Brand Loyal, got the Milwaukee Square. I think it was like 26 bucks. Obviously there's cheaper options, but again, I like this one. Uh, fits in the pouch nice. One thing I don't like about this is being um, in concrete, you're always jumping off scaffold and you know, kind of moving and lifting stuff all the time. This does tend to fall out sometimes. I've been lucky recently since I got my new one, I've been able to find it because it has been a lot of water, but sometimes it does get loose and if you're kind of jumping around, it'll fall out. Other than that, solid square, solid, uh, you know, I recommend getting it. Any, any square will do, just depends on what brand you like. Um, right here are my nail pouches. So uh, this is a two and a quarter inch nail, uh, double headed that we use for concrete. Uh, this is my, where I keep my three inch spikes, double headed, like that, good, good pouch. I don't know, there's not really much to say about it. It's just nail holder. Uh, come over here, as you can see, I got my pencil, this little side pocket, works good. Keep the pencil in there, no problem. Uh, in here, I got my chalk line, which I actually have to get uh, to put new chalk in because I left it out one day and it, all the chalks harden it, so it doesn't really work. I have, needed to use a chalk line or other people have and i haven't had any the chalk has been hard in it so i gotta fix that but good tool i guess overall uh tape holder great tape had to switch out my tape because it got jammed up and broke obviously with all the dirt and stuff like that uh move over to this side uh this is kind of my spare pouch there's some dirt in there uh this is kind of my spare pouch what did i keep in here i can't really remember oh have concrete nails i'm gonna keep concrete nails in here but for the, some reason, I mixed them all up. This is what a concrete nail looks like. It's got like a little torpedo on the outside of it, as you can see. I normally throw some of those in there. And these are five inch concrete spikes. As you can see, doing concrete, you straw the footings after you're done and stuff like that. So I got a bunch of straw in my, uh, in my pouch, which is not nice. But yeah, these are a bunch of five inch spikes that you put into concrete. If you got to hold a board down or a prop or something like that. Uh, moving on, I lost my freaking uh, my chisel. I don't know where it went, honestly. It kind of fell out. Uh, my pliers, if I can recommend you guys got pliers, you can see I just, before this video, actually, I just sprayed them up with a little bit of crown. If you guys do concrete work or any construction work, really, and your pouches are outside a lot, your pliers will get rusty and they will get stiff. So spray them with a bit of crown. If you're doing concrete and you have to oil your wall, use the oil from the oiler because that works great too. Klein pliers, they were brand new. Again, you know, working, they get all rusted and stuff. They still still work great though, good pliers. Uh, I haven't used these yet. Actually, that's a lie. I had to use them to switch a grinder blade on like a hand grinder because we didn't have a tool. So these came in handy. Still, you know, got a bit of concrete on them, but they're still good. i uh, put those back. Uh, my level, my mini Stavella level, you can see there's, it's dirty, it's been work. Uh, I haven't used this a whole bunch. I think I've used it once or twice to level some small things. Uh, but overall, we normally use like six foot or five foot, four foot levels. So this one, but for putting windows in and stuff like that, this comes in handy. So I just, you know, keep that there. And then whenever I use it, I use it. If I don't, I don't. At least I have one on me. Um, pair of safety glasses, as you can see. Again, a bunch of straw and stuff on the inside of them, but when you're using that quick cut to cut rebar and stuff like that, these come in handy. Um, that's basically it. So like I said, guys, overall, this, for me, this is a great pouch. Obviously, you're gonna have your, your brands like Occidental and Acubus and stuff like that, which are gonna be your top tier. You've been working in the business for a long time, and that's the, the either the first pouch you buy and you never buy one again, or the last pouch you buy, you know what I mean? It's one of those things where you buy and you won't have to buy it again. So if you guys are getting into a new, uh, a new profession, like a, a concrete maybe for you, I say you buy a cheaper pouch to start, see if you like it, and once you know you like your heart set on it, go ahead and buy that expensive one once yours is worn out, because it's gonna last you a lifetime. Uh, overall, I give so far, I give the Milwaukee a 10 out of 10. Uh, it's been a great pouch so far. Hopefully, it'll keep being this great, and maybe one day I'll move up to a, a bigger, more expensive pouch. But uh, yeah, so any more updates that I get, and many different tools to make a video. But uh, yeah, that's the concrete setup for 2023 so far. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. See you later.